You posted an Instagram that caught some attention. Can we set yes. the record straight? Were we throwing shade Megan Fox's way? I don't know how to throw shade subtly. It was honestly just like my mother took a picture of me. I was standing next to the poster. She said, let me grab a picture. Before we went into the premiere, I did a quick, like, I'm excited and posted it. And and I know how this works. It, it makes a much more intriguing headline to see Lala Kent tries to shade Megan Fox rather than Lala's mom takes a picture of her next to, you know, Randall's poster. So, no, I was, I, I really enjoy Megan. We've had amazing times together. You know, I got my tattoo that says Rand with Megan and MGK. So I would never throw shade at her. No, I wish it was more, I wish it was more interesting, but that's really the story. It's kind of like the pasta, right? It's not about the pasta. Right. <laughs> It's like, it's one thing the media turns it into another, but hey, people are talking about the movie. So. That's, uh, right? I'll press so the press. <laughs> that's how you have to look at it or it'll eat you alive. <laughs> yeah, and I actually saw right before this, uh, Megan, somebody asked her about it and she was like, no, Lala's a good chick. She would not do that. Oh, good. That was the first thing. Cause I actually didn't know that it had become a thing until Randall told me this is a thing. And I was like, God damn it. Like you really have to be careful of every single thing that you post because anything can come across as something completely different. Right, and I, because people were also then reading in, you were celebrating everybody who showed up for the premiere and obviously Megan and Coulson um, and Bruce didn't out of COVID concern. Um, right. And it wasn't like, I think people were just reading, people love to make drama, as you well know. <laughs> you know, I, I'm the first person to say, if you have a COVID concern, you should stay home, especially me being a new mom. I also had those same concerns. So I in no way was thinking like you should have shown up. I completely understand. Safety is, is the most important thing. Listen, I don't know what you think you saw, but I'm a cop, all right? I ain't gonna hurt you. La la. This is rare. We're usually not talking about Lala the actress, but here we are today because Out of Death is out for people to watch. Yeah. Not the Lala we know. You are playing not only a cop, but spoiler alert, a dirty cop. <laughs> I love it. And that's the one thing that I was like so drawn to this because I've never played a dirty cop before. I've played a lot of things, but that has not been one. Look, what's your plan? What was it like to tap into that? Because it is pared down, it's dirty, it's grimy, you've got a Southern accent going on. It was a lot of fun. Um, the Southern accent, I tried to speak in a Southern accent for a while because accents are not my strong point, which was another reason why I loved it because I like anything that challenges me. And I was five months pregnant when we were filming this. So I've I've never been a diva on set ever, except for this film. I was hormonally raging at times. Luckily, the director was like very chill with me and allowed me to go through my process. But I, I really did have a great time. So this is technically Baby Ocean's big screen debut. It really is. I mean, she's definitely a star on Vanderpump Rules, but this was like her her first, you know, on camera appearance. And she plays the part great. You don't even know she's there. Just slips right into the scenes. <laughs> oh my gosh, Bryce, can I tell you, the second we wrapped, I got back to LA and suddenly I just like was showing. It was crazy. She's a she, professional. <laughs> her timing's impeccable, I will say. Like when we film Vanderpump, they're only allowed to film for 20 minutes just because of their age. And she could be a terror. And the second she knows she's on camera, she calms herself down. And then when she's wrapped, she's like back to screaming her head off. She's a professional. Born for it. And you can trust me. What we need is evidence. You get to act opposite a film legend, Bruce yes. Willis. How intimidating is that? I've been lucky enough to have played opposite of Bruce Willis a, a handful of times before. And I'm telling you, it doesn't even matter if I had done it a million times before. The second he shows up on set, I forget my own name because he's a legend. Like I show up and I'm like, I'm Lala Kent. 
And then he shows up and I'm like, that's Bruce Willis. Like you are Lauren from Utah right now. And it's Bruce Willis, you know, it's very intimidating. What happened? She assaulted me, she's some sort of junkie. Do you feel like you get taken seriously as an actor? I don't feel like I get taken seriously as really anything that I try to break into. And, and I'm okay with that. I knew the second that I signed on for Vanderpump Rules that I would put myself into a box. I knew that it would bring a lot of opportunity, but I knew that it would also be really hard for me to break out of the box. And my hope is just that people watch anything that I'm in as far as, you know, films, that I have been working on this craft since I was 12 years old. I didn't move to LA to be on Vanderpump Rules. I moved to LA to be an actress. So no matter what the feedback is, I will continue to work on that craft and try my best to give a great performance. What's the dream role, the dream project in terms of acting? Uh, I, I would love to be in a comedy. I would love to be in an Apatow film because I think he's just a creative genius and just the way he presents comedy in a film is, is brilliant. So I think that that would be my dream. Okay, we'll put it out there in it's the universe. In the universe. You work a lot in your man, Randall's films. Yes. Um, and I think people have a preconceived notion that he's just like giving these opportunities to you. What do you say to people who are like questioning this creative partnership, if you will? Yeah, well, I would think the same thing. If I were an outsider, I'd be like, well, how easy is this? She just gets to be put in every film. Um, for people who don't understand, I have to be approved by the studio before I'm in any of Randall's films. When I first acted in one of Randall's films, which was opposite Bruce Willis, I then had proven myself to go on to, you know, being okayed for other roles like this. When it came to Al Pacino, you know, not only did the studio have to approve me, but Al Pacino had to approve me as well. It wasn't just handed to me. So it, it's almost more intimidating and a different kind of rejection because, you know, if I say to Randall, I really want this part and then I don't get it, it's like, you couldn't fight hard enough for me, but it just goes so far beyond Randall. I wish it was that easy because then I feel like I would be in a lot more. But I definitely, like the Al Pacino film I had to audition for, the, this Bruce Willis film, you know, I had proven myself and, and I feel very proud of that.